Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply conditional formatting in SSRS. We're going to learn how to change row colors using an if function. We're going to learn how to change row colors using a switch function. And then we'll also learn how to change text colors using expressions. So let's get started. I have a very simple data set. This is an employee listing data set. So if I run this, mm -hmm. you will see that this is an employee listing. It basically shows the employee's department, position, location, gender, and their salary and their start and their end date. Now, what I want to do is I want to highlight rows which are male, the rows which are female using an expression and using the if function. So how do we get to do that? So we will go into our design view and under our design view, what we will do is we will first ensure that our properties field is visible. If it is not visible, you will go into view and tick on the property step. This will make sure that your properties is visible. Now, if you want to apply a conditional formatting in the entire row, what you would do is you will click on the table and on the outer layers of the gray, you will click on this row and then what this row will do is this row will highlight your entire row and on the right hand side under the properties we'll scroll down and we will see where the background color is so if you can see there's a background color under the fill tab on top and what we will do over here we will use an expression to create our row colors so let's click on expression and let's bring this close out here and at the moment there is no color because it's not running through any expression so what we would do is we would use this if statement in order to create an expression and so if you're not familiar where the if function rather is you'll go on to common functions and you'll go on to program flow and if you're not sure what a if function is i have a video tutorial on that that i've already prepared so if you have been following my series you are up with this if not you can watch that video i will put that link in the description below uh, now you'll click on the double if function over here and then our conditional would be the gender so if our gender is equal to with double code male comma then we will go on to the constants this is where we can set up our color we can also click on more colors to specify uh, a more range of colors you can also enter your own color over here but for simplicity we'll just keep it uh, very simple so maybe i want to have uh, this color selected there and then and then what i would do is basically there's only two conditions that could be met male female however due to data entries you might even have fields that are not filled in which means that the gender field may be blank so we will have that accommodated over here uh, however before we're doing that we'll go on to the else clause so if this condition is met then this else we we'll put a comma and then we'll select another color code so maybe uh i will select this color i think i've added double code so when you select the color the codes get added over here so if i close that and if i run this report there you go so you can see uh quite unusual where the males have pink and the females have a purple but yeah so this is how you can apply for minting. Now, one thing you have noticed at the bottom over here, for those who have no gender, there is still gray. So how do we fix this? So we'll go to the design tab and what we'll do is we will highlight our row again and we will go to our expressions. And so what we'll do is we will put another F assessment over here. So instead of the else, um, we'll put a comma. And then we'll go ahead and we put another if statement. So if they just said gender is equals to female, then we'll go into our constants and select color and comma. We put transparent. So let's close that. That will just close one of our if brackets which is this one 
and then we'll put another one that will close the if bracket from here. So let's click on OK and let's run the report. So now, as you can see at the bottom, the blanks are not no picking and we have our rows highlighted depending on the expression that we have mentioned over here. What we will now do is we will try to apply changing of rows using a switch function. And so what we will do is let me pause this and let me quickly clear off this formatting. Okay, so now I have removed the uh, color formatting that I had applied based on the conditional expression. What we will do is we will apply conditional expression using the switch function. So uh, we will change the color of the rows based on the salary that they get. So let's do that. So we'll switch on to our design view. And again, we will click onto our table. And on the outer gray lines over here, we will highlight that particular row. And then we will go to the same place. We will go on to our fill. And on the background color, we will click on expression. Let me just pull this here and we will create an expression using the switch function. So we'll go into the common functions and go into a program flow and we'll double click in order to get the switch function. Now, what we will do is, let me just try this, this a little bit. We will go to our data set and then we will click on our annual salary and then we will start our expression. So the first expression would be if annual salary is less than 40,000 comma, then I'm gonna to go to my constants and I would pick a color. So I'll pick this color, and then I'll put a comma again then I'll go to my next expression. If my annual salary is less than 80,000, comma, I'll go to my constants and I will have another color highlighted over here. Let's go with the, this color. And then if this two does not meet, then I'm gonna put true and comma, and I'm gonna put another expression over here, uh, another color formatting over here is this. And I will close this. So what this does is the switch function will first see this. And if it meets this, then it'll get this color. Otherwise, it'll uh, go and do this and it'll get this color. If this is not made, then I'm just using a true, which is correlated with the switch function. And then it will give me this color. So I'll click on OK, and then I will run this. And as you can see there, I have three colors shown, so it's showing me for those three scenarios. And uh, I know I was a little bit fast in my expressions, but there's a separate video, video that I've created specifically dealing with ifs and switch functions. Uh, this is more showing you how you can apply conditional expressions um, onto your data set. So now we have seen how we can change the color rows based on expressions. We can do the same onto a text color. So let me just go to my design and let me quickly remove the color formatting that I've applied there. And let me just run the blank report. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how you can apply formatting based on a specific text. So if I go to my design and if I click on the gender, so maybe what I want to do is I want to highlight the genders, uh, male or female on that specific column. So if you want to do that, you can still go ahead and do that. You will right click on that particular field that you would select and you'll go to the text box properties. When you come to the text box properties and when you come to the font, you will see basically every font, uh, every features of the font, which is the font size, uh, the font type itself and the color has its expression builder built. So you can create different expressions over here if you want to, if if it's a male, you want to change the font size. If it's a female, you want to change a different font size. Likewise for size, you can do that. And if you want to change the text color, then you can come over the color expression over here, color over here, and then you can go into the FX. So what we will do is we will remove this. We will create an expression using an if. And so if I go to my program flow, I'll double click on the if, and then under my data set, I will select my agenda. And then if my gender is equal to 
mail, comma, then I would want to have uh, a dark blue color, and comma, if, let's go to if, if my data set gender is equals to female, then I would want my constants to show me a hot pink. Otherwise, if it's anything else, if it's a data error or anything else, then it'll be showed in red if, if it shows up in the text. So I'll close that. This will only close this if clause over here. And I'll put another bracket, which will close this if condition over here. And now, and let's click on OK and let's run the report. You will get to see that. So for the males, you'll see the text color is blue. The females, the text color is pink. And if there's any other text color, it will show as red. These are nulls, so it will not show any. But if there's a typo error, then it will show it as a text color. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If so, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.